This is the story of Rosie Dock, written and illustrated by Jeannie Baker. People say it's the oldest river in the world. The Fink River begins in the centre of Australia, surrounded by desert, and the worn down bones of prehistoric mountains. For thousands of years, almost nothing has changed. Then over a hundred years ago, newcomers from Europe settled by the river. With them, they brought their animals, horses and camels, cats, foxes and rabbits. Some years later, Another settler arrived. She brought seeds from the other side of the world and planted a garden. One plant she especially loved for its beautiful red seed pods. The land here is hot and dry. Water is precious. The wind blows strong at times and great spiralling willy willy storm across the des desert, whipping up things in their path. Hardly any rain falls for years on end. But hidden in the mountains are ancient oases. Desert creatures find water here even in the driest of times. The river is mostly a river of sand. One day it was unnaturally dark and there was an uneasy silence. Suddenly the sky cracked open. Rain poured in torrents from the clouds and soon the river was roaring with water. Rain kept pounding down and the river became a raging flood. The flooded river swept on, swirling, spiralling, surging on and on. To a great sand dune desert where it spread wide like a sea. The water crept slowly across the desert until eventually it disappeared into the sand. And then the desert suddenly blossomed. Birds and animals appeared. The air came alive with insects and perfumed flowers grew everywhere. The harsh, searing sun soon evaporated the water. Wind sucked away the last traces of moisture, leaving only mirage and a sea of rolling sand. The pattern continues with many more cycles of rain and drought. Dust storms scatter the seeds and bury them in the desert sands. And now, when the rains have watered the desert, Rosy Dog, the plant with beautiful red seed pods, is spreading like a great red blanket, further than the eye can see. Rosy Dock, also known as Rummex vesicarius, is not native to Australia. It was introduced from North Africa or Western Asia. Since then, seeds have blown their way across South, Central and Western Australia, where Rosy Dock continues to spread. Throughout the world, often with the best of intentions, people introduce plants and animals into a new environment with enormous unforeseen consequences. Without their normal predators, some non-native plants and animals multiply so quickly they change whole landscapes and push many native plants and animals to extinction. <laughs> 